Okay, so the first thing I am doing is exfoliating my skin with a lotion for my face first because you don't want that to get crusty or anything. You're gonna wanna put some lotion before you put on your foundation. Or at least I do. And let it dry too, you know. So now I'm just putting on my foundation. No! So, so I'm at least a flawless zombie, you know. You don't need to put on foundation, but I mean, if you want to. I mean, I'm going to. So I mean, I guess you should. I mean, you're not obligated or anything, but it'd be nice. Now, you don't have to. You can use a powder, but I'm using a red um, oil pastel on my eyes. So pretty much you're just gonna keep doing this until you look like Gerard Way from my chemical romance in the music video Helena. So you know. Also an everyday emo makeup if you would like. Fantastic. Now I'm taking the same red pastel and I'm marking it, trying to make lines on my face to mark where I want my scars. Pretty much you're just gonna look like a retarded joker at this point. not really necessary. No! Because I'm stupid. Also, so my eyebrows, um, I'm darkening my angry eyebrow area thingy. You know, um, I'm also putting lines on the side of my face, like, I was an anorexia skeleton. But I am taking. No, 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 no. It's. I don't. It's like shirt paint. And it's easy to rip off. You can put it on a mirror and glue it to your face if you'd like using eyelash glue. But I'd rather just put it on my face. And it's easy to take off after. Just like put water on the edge and it'll just come off. But yeah, I'm just putting it on and I'm dabbing it for like a 3D poking effect. Fantastic. But when it dries, I put on another layer of like purple to give it like a decaying look. And then I go over on the edges with the lighter red. Just gives it a more 3D scarring. And I put some on my lip, even though I don't really put enough to make it noticeable. But yeah, that's my zombie tutorial and I hope you liked it. <laughs> Bye.